Well, hello, my name is Katie Evans. I'm the Connections Pastor at Trinity Church, which means I oversee all things related to newcomers and small groups. Um, so I am very excited that you guys are willing to participate and be such a huge part of Trinity Reads. You're willing to host and to facilitate. So a huge thank you to all of you. Uh, just a couple of things as we get started. Uh, this is the first time that we have done a Trinity Reads a Summer Book Club. So if you are unsure of what you're doing, don't worry, everyone else is too. There are zero expectations of what this conversation circle is supposed to look like, what it should look like, what people thought it was going to be. So just want to take that pressure off um, and say that I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Uh, that it's the Lord who has formed these groups and has placed you in each group and has placed each person in the group. And so um, God is going to do incredible things in you and through you uh, and in your group. So just want to say um, that something I have felt really strongly from the Lord this week is this phrase, connection over perfection. Uh, we have almost 70 people who have signed up to be part of Trinity Reads, sight unseen. They didn't know that you were going to be their facilitator. They didn't know what home they would be coming to. They only knew their availability and the area of town that they lived in. And so what that says to me is that people are looking for connection. And so they did not sign up to see inside your beautiful home, although I'm sure it is quite wonderful. And they did not sign up because they knew what an amazing conversationalist you are although I'm sure you're very good at it, um, but they signed up for a connection over the summer um, with other believers and other Christians. And so just a phrase to keep in mind this summer as we get started is connection over perfection. Uh, the other thing I want to say is um, that um, we want to choose grace over guilt. So uh, sometimes people can read a book like this, The Art of Neighboring, and read it, and immediately the thing that they feel is this guilt or this condemnation. I'm a horrible neighbor. I'm a horrible Christian. I haven't been doing these things. But what we want to say is that we want to be so full of grace and give people so much room uh, to come as they are. And so even if they show up to your group and haven't finished reading, um, where they're not sure that they agree with everything in this book, we want to say choose grace over guilt, and people are so free to come as they are, and I trust that you guys will be able to meet them where they are and um, allow God to minister in your conversation circles. So for the hosts, um, if you have a heart for people, if you can open your home and if you can share a snack, you're going to do a great job, and I'm so thankful for you. For the, facilita for the facilitators, um, try to remember to speak only 30% of the time or less. Uh, silence is normal when you first ask a question. You don't have to always fill it, even though it can be so tempting. Allow someone else to speak first, even if there is that beat of silence or a couple moments of silence. Um, you don't have to fill it. So speak 30% of the time or less. So you will be receiving your first discussion guide by the end of this week. Feel free to jump around in it, use what is useful, add some of your own questions, leave out what is not useful to you. Uh, before your group meets, take a moment just to pray for each group member by name and pray that God would do a work in this group. And then if you feel comfortable, it would be great to open and close the group in prayer. And there will be a little guide in the discussion guide for you around that. So again, thank you so much. I'm really excited for these groups. I'm excited for Trinity Reads. I'm excited for what God's going to do and really thankful for your participation. So um, blessings on your conversation circles, blessings on the space that you will be meeting in, blessings on the um, conversations that happen. And may you know that God is present and with you every step of the way. Thanks so much.